Okay, this is reading for Sagittarius. Spirit, what are the messages you have for Sagittarius? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I do read everybody's comments, by the way. You guys are a blessing. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> you know, I just love Spirit because every freaking time... I'm advised to use like a certain Oracle deck that I don't use a whole lot. It's because of this shit. Okay. <laughs> There's somebody in your mist that is a trickster. So we're going to read from the book and see what this shit says. It, it always is. It's funny to me because before I do these readings, I will hear from spirit and uh, like they'll say, okay, use this one or use this one. <laughs> so I've just become accustomed. Like if you're learning tarot or you're somebody who's new to tarot or new to spirituality and you're just getting into it, always n listen to that voice. Never second guess that shit. If it's telling you somebody's shady, they're fucking shady. If they're telling you to use a certain deck, listen to it. Always listen to your intuition. Because uh, they're trying to speak to you. You have to be open to spirit. Okay, it says things are not as they seem. Something that seems bad may in fact be good and vice versa. Don't take everything at face value. Look beneath the surface. This card encourages you to try to find humor or gentle amusement in seemingly difficult situations. It also encourages you to have irreplaceable fun. Step out of the mold. Your native spirit wants you to know in Indonesia's traditions there is a concept of the tricksters. In Native American tradition, the trickster is often depicted as a wily coyote, but sometimes the trickster is a human called Hayoka. There is a lighthearted fun aspect of the trickster, but there is also the caution to tread carefully because things are not always as they seem. Be discerning. What appears to be good opportunity may in fact not be. The wonderful aspect of this card choosing you is that it offers the opportunity to step out of the old, outmoded ways of perceiving yourself. The trickster allows you to see yourself in an entirely new way and asks you to step out of old routines and habits that might be keeping you stagnant. And then it says the journey. It might sound very strange, but the easiest way to activate the energy of this card is to howl like a coyote. If you can, it is even better to do it during the light of the full moon. This breaks up stagnant energies and brings in fresh vitality. <laughs> okay, so some of y'all could go outside and howl if you want to or do it in the house. <laughs> but, you know what? I just feel like I'm one of those people who... These oracle cards all have a meaning in the damn book. But to me, it's, it's kind of like look at what it says <laughs> sometimes it's not even what it says it'll be like the picture but this right here as soon as this came out I instantly feel a shady ass vibe so I'm gonna ask the tarot who is this trickster um, in your life because that's what I feel like it is I, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and you know make it sound like it's a lovely fucking card to come out because it's not I felt the energy I felt the um, the spirits telling me, you know, the ancestors telling me to use this deck for a reason. And I think it's far greater than what that book is particular, like, you know, saying it is. The strength card, the Leo energy. Could be done with a Leo. <clears throat> you could have a Leo in your midst who's um, manipulating you or trying to trick you. Mm, you can't make this shit up. You can't, oh my god. <laughs> Three fucking Leo cards, come on now. Three Leo cards. Like I said, it's not the card that comes out. It's sometimes the message. They're trying to portray um, the sign of Leo. Like I could say, oh, it's a child. Or, oh, you know, no, bullshit. They're trying to tell you something about a Leo in your life. Um. <laughs> It's very interesting here. If you're dealing with a Leo sun or somebody who has Leo aspected in their chart, they're up to something. 
they're also pissed off about something. They could be portraying to be happy, everything's fine, but beneath the fucking surface, they're pissed about something. But this person's coming at you here, but I feel like they've been holding back how they really feel here. Oh, what the hell was that? That just went flying. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to have to pause it to get these damn cards. They're, they're down here on the floor. I can't tell what they are, but one of, two of them are on their side and one of them's like face down. So hold on. Okay, there was actually just two. This one was laying like this and this one was laying like this. I thought there was two like this, but it's these. Oh, man. See, it's some type... Oh, look. King of Wands. They're, you're definitely dealing with some type of a an air or fire sign here. Prominent trickster in your energy. There is somebody... Okay, I'm just going to tell you what time it is. You have... Okay, this person could be... You could be in a relationship with this person. Or they could be like one of your friends. Friends with benefits. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, I like I said, if you're new to spirituality or you're trying to become a reader or something, I want you to, and I don't know why they always have me teaching you guys, so I feel like there, um, that could be one of my gifts is to teach because, to teach you guys things because I feel like some of you who are watching are new, just like I was, you know, I thank God for the people I d did pick up on things from, so if you pick up anything from me, then bless you. And I hope it helps you. But you see how there's this fire energy. Okay. There's like this person staring over at you. Um, they're very passionate about you. I feel like you guys could be kind of close. There could be like a friends with benefits. Or this person is just in your energy. There's something here about passion. Them using passion. Like they're holding back passion from you. Or... So say that you're dealing with somebody and they're trying to hold back like their passion from you or something. It, it's it, There's a strategy to this. This person's trying to trick you. I don't know if they're going to try to use like passion against you to get you where they want you. But look at this. This is how spirit is like um, showing how you need to be. Like this person's coming in with their own bullshit agenda. Like I said, there's an underlying, this person's making you feel like everything's fine here, but it's not. But there's something to this. Because um, here they come in with their bullshit agenda, and then Spirit is telling you to be this Queen of Swords. She's like, bring it on, bitch. She's on a fucking throne. This person's on a horse. So they're ready for battle, but you're on a damn throne with a freaking... Um, crown on your head so you're some type of like spiritual royalty here or really connected to the divine you're ready for this person like I feel like you already know what this person's doing and you see how there's like birds here and the birds there I feel like there could be birds who have been warning you about this Um, but this person could be wearing a mask but it's like they're trying to trick you but you have like your sword straight up to the heavens you see that so you have like a direct antenna straight to the heavens. Theirs is like bent. So they're not getting as good as reception. And see how your face, you're like stone cold. Like you're very aware of like what is going on. You're cool. You're calm. You're collected. You're like, bet, bring it on. This person's in their emotions. They're very upset. They're angry. They're ready to strike. They're ready for war. Well, everybody knows when you allow your emotions to run you, that that's like a recipe for disaster. So you have somebody here who Spirit's trying to warn you about that is not being um, like honest with you about something. And I feel like you're going to find out the Queen of Swords, she does not play. Like, she just doesn't. She, like, knows what time it is. Like, she's a truth seeker. And she will tell you what fucking time it is, too. Not only does she know what time it is, she's about to tell you what time it is. This person's angry. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like one of these other cards fell, too. I, what was that? Hold on. Let me pause it. Because one of them that was up here, I think, fell. Hold on. Okay. It was the Ace of Wands. So... 
I feel like this person is very passionate about you. There is like a like um you're in you're in contact with this individual. I don't feel like this is somebody you're away from. Because the two of cups is usually an in person energy. But I feel like this person is like upset about something. Like, you know, like I feel like they were trying to withhold passion from you or something like that to get like your reaction or to see how you'll react. There's something here about like I feel like they're trying to prey on your like emotions or something. Yeah. Look, we have the sun and the damn moon. This person's like hiding how much emotions they have for you. Oh. This person could also look the truth. <laughs> this person could also be hiding a third party from you. They could be talking to like an ex. They could have like an ex or somebody that they're talking to. Because it's like they're hiding a third party. And I feel like if you figure this out, oh, you're going to be pissed. So if you're dating somebody and they've been acting funny, look, Queen of Pentacles. So there's the Queen of Swords and then the Queen of Pentacles. If you uh, are dealing with somebody who's like this King of Wands type energy, Who's been acting really weird. Um, they could be hiding a third party from you. Somebody from their past. Yeah, there could be like competition here. Mm, Knight of Pentacles. Justice. This person could definitely be talking to somebody else. Like somebody from their past. But they could have you in competition here. So if you're dealing with somebody. Yeah it's like this person could have a choice in lovers. So if you're dealing with somebody. Yeah look. Two of swords indecisive. If you are dealing with somebody. And they've been acting weird. Or trying to hold back like. Uh, passion from you. Or you just notice that they're not like into you or something as they used to be it could be because they have a third party that they're hiding yeah this person could be juggling you there could be somebody from their past could be somebody they were married to yeah there could be somebody that they were married to or had a commitment with that they're still talking to. Yeah, this person might even try to like tell you. Um, this person might like try to tell you that they want to become single or something. And it could be because they're trying to build a relationship with somebody else. I feel like if you keep dealing with this person, you're going to end up like heartbroken. I also feel like this person could be trying to keep you around and this other person around because they view you as the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, like look at all this fucking Pentacles. <laughs> this is your ass, Sagittarius. You're the fucking prize here. I'm telling you something. You need to be careful because whoever the fuck this trickster energy is, this King of Wands, whether that's an whether that's their sun sign or not. This person views you as very valuable. And they know who you are. But I feel like there's somebody else in the mix. And they may be hiding that person from you. Yeah, they could be hiding that they have options. That they're looking at other options. They could be telling you like, oh, I need to take a break to heal or to work on myself or some bullshit. And the truth is that they're actually looking at other options. Yeah, they want to be the Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. This person's indecisive on whether they want to stay or whether they want to move away. But I do feel like there's a third party at play here. 
<laughs> um, it doesn't really make a shift because look, they told me to cut the deck. Um, you're going to have victory and success. I feel like you may move away from this person. And when you do, it is like the floodgates of heaven open up and you become the will of fortune and the six of wands. Very, very successful. It's, I really feel like this person's hiding um, an ex or a third party from you. I'm going to ask. It really looks like it. I think they're tricking you. If you're somebody who's stable, uh, this person sees you as very valuable. So they could be trying to hold on to you and another person at the same time. They don't want to let go of you because you're too valuable. But they don't want to give to you either. So is this King of Wands, this trickster person, are they involved with somebody else romantically besides the Sagittarius? Are they cheating on the Sagittarius? Is there a third party romantically that this King of Wands is hiding? What is this trickster hiding from Sagittarius? Is there a romantic third party they are hiding? Are they cheating on Sagittarius or whoever's watching? Because I know you're not all Sagittarius. So is this King of Wands energy cheating on Sagittarius three of wands could be somebody at a distance ten of wands person could be burdened I feel like there's somebody from their past that they are holding on to that they haven't let go of yeah it's like this person's holding on to some type of past yeah this person could be wanting oh my god yeah. There's something really fucking shady with this person. I feel like they could be wanting... They're holding back from, like, telling you that they want to, like, end things with you. So, if, you, if you're dealing with somebody who's been kind of distant with you, um... It's like they're holding on to their past. They haven't let go of a past or something. But it's like they're they're thinking of like ending things with you and then choosing to go look for new love. Because look what just came out to fucking gather. Here goes the King of Wands with the Seven of Swords and the Death. So this person could be lying to you, like leading you on to believe you're in a relationship or some bullshit. But what their true intentions are is they're going to end things with you. Um, and then go find new love when it's like when they see fit. Because with the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, like I said, I want you to be fucking careful because this person, it, it could also be holding on to you for financial gain only. Because in the original tarot, the Seven of Pentacles, the, the person only has one little pinnacle and they're looking at your Six of Pentacles. So, and then the Four of Pentacles is also somebody who's greedy, selfish, they hold back, um, <clears throat> could be narcissistic type, but this person has an agenda with you, and I feel like they're going to make the choice, they could be like talking to somebody online who's at a distance or something, or somebody from their past, and they're planning on, I think, ending things with you, and they're not telling you. They're not telling you that this is what they're planning and they're lying to you. And we have the Knight of Swords down here again. See, what did I say? This just flew out. This person only has one pinnacle. So, like the, like I said, with the Seven of Pentacles in the original tarot, it has, like, this person standing kind of here. And there's one little pinnacle here, and then they're staring at all of your pinnacles. 
So this person could be like offering you something, but it's just, just enough to keep you like strung along. Yeah. This person views you as getting wish fulfillment too, but this is also like a very stubborn my way type energy too. This person is, could be very arrogant. Yeah, they view you <laughs> um, as successful, getting wish fulfillment. Four of Swords, they also feel like you're healing. So they could try to come around and offer up an apology, but there's like this two of Pentacles of where it's kind of like, kind of like they want to keep juggling you with somebody else or keep you like so mind fucked you don't really know what's going on yeah this <laughs> there's something very sinister about this individual they have some type of a an addiction they're gonna try to be very charming too so they're gonna try to come to your house be very charming um but the nine of cups with the devil energy is kind of like a like they want you tied to them romantically or something yeah see they're hiding something yeah this person's indecisive they don't know what the hell they're doing from one day to the next yeah this person <laughs> they are indecisive on whether they should continue to be like this hoe bag and hoe cake it around or if they should be um, like the king of pentacles and commit to you but the king of pentacles is in reverse so this is somebody who it has no intentions on committing to you and I think they know that yeah ten of cups reverse they have no plans on like marrying you or having the ten of cups with you but look at you you're the damn queen of pentacles in the upright ooh and they don't want you to leave yeah look at that justice ace oh my god this person's fucking lying to you i it's very rare that i see the fucking ace of swords come out in the reverse this person <laughs> they're lying they're, they're also lying to you something about passion and sex i don't know if they're withholding sex or uh, if they're using this as a tactic, I don't fucking know. There's something about that. If you're dealing with somebody who hasn't been giving you passion or hasn't been very loving, you know, towards you lately, it, there's something about this. It's like a strategy of theirs. But they have no intentions on giving you the Ten of Cups. They have no intentions on being the King of Pentacles for you because they're in the Knight of Wands. So this is just somebody who's here for, like, sex. And they're not telling you that. They're not speaking their truth. Because you are this queen of pinnacles and they don't want you to leave. The fool in reverse. They don't want you to take a leap of faith and get justice and leave them. So they're not being honest with you. They're tricking you. So if you have somebody who's been telling you that they're going to commit to you or that y'all are in a relationship, in their mind it's just all bullshit. It's for their own selfish gain. They're heavy Leo energy in this reading. See, they see you as happy and working on yourself, working on your career, your goals. Um, yeah, and <laughs> you're going to figure all this out because, you know, we have the moon and the sun. So, like, spirit's illuminating this to you. And I feel like when you figure this out, you're going to become this Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. And like leave them out in the cold. Look, this Leo energy again. I feel like you're going to leave this person when you figure this out. But this person's just been playing you. Um, I don't, I don't really currently see. It didn't really show the third party again here. It just showed more of a manipulation and what they're, what they're thinking. Like, um. They're playing you, like telling you, yeah, we're going to be committed. We're in a relationship, blah, blah, but it's all bullshit. It's to hold on to you for finances. Like this person could be like having financial problems and they see you as the Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. I don't know, something like that. 
But I feel like this person's not being honest with you at all. They could be like painting you illusions and shit. Look at that, the star in reverse. Man, I really feel like you're going to end up believing this individual when you figure out this per. Yeah, I feel like spirit is like telling you, you know, the star in reverse to me, it's the star is fucking, it's destiny. And it's like, are you going to let them steal your destiny? Like, do you realize that this person playing you and lying to you and deceiving you um, by them doing that and you and being involved with this individual and not like respecting yourself and having self-worth that you are allowing this person to steal your blessings and your destiny and the the in the chariot this is an emperor and he has a star on his forehead and he chases after his destiny the star is in the reverse and so i feel like as long as you're stuck with this person that you are not headed to your destiny this person's like preventing you from moving on to your destiny yeah <laughs> and that's why spirit's about to take over um spirit is is conjuring up something and they're getting you out of your head you're being mind fucked i really keep hearing narcissist 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 i feel like you're dealing with a narcissist and they're playing mind games with you whoever you are watching i if you're involved with somebody and half the time you feel confused every time you're dealt, you deal with this person. And then when you try to ask them like specific questions, it's always a runaround and you feel more confused after the conversation. There's never any clarity. Uh, you know, that Ace of Swords in reverse also talks about that, not having clarity, like not understanding something. And that's how this person wants to keep you. They want to keep you mind fucked, but spirit's like, not today, bitch. I'm telling you, there's a heavy presence of like your bloodline, your, your angels like are about to, to really wreak havoc on this person. If somebody has been lying to you and leading you on for selfish gain and you're dealing with a narcissist, um, I really feel sorry for this person. I do, because I see here clear as day what Spirit's about to do to them. Um, the will is taking over. And once that will comes in, nothing can stop it. It's like trying to stop a tornado from hitting your house. It will not happen. That will is turning in your favor, Sagittarius or whoever you are watching. And this person's about to be dead in the wind. They're going to try... You saw this dead skeleton's trying to hold on to this will... They're not going to be able to. They're going to fall. And this right here is the devil. And you see the damn look on his face? Yeah, bitch. Time is up. You've been found out. The Eight of Swords in reverse is amazing. Because this lets me know that you no longer are bound mentally or emotionally to this person. The wheel is going to come in and it all ties to this person are going to be severed. I don't even think you're going to give a shit. Yeah, look. <laughs> their days of keeping you confused are over and you have many options you have lots of other options look what's at the damn bottom it, it's so funny how this keeps coming out <laughs> look at this shit um look they, they were holding back some type of anger towards you too like but there's going to be a tower because like i said this wheel's going to step in and split you guys up i feel like this person's also going to try to hit you with some bullshit about let's stay friends. And I don't, I think Spirit's advising you to go look for other friends. You don't need to be friends with somebody who, when they had you in a relationship, was treating you like shit. And was being narcissistic and demeaning, demeaning you, putting you down, or whatever this person is doing. Because I see some selfish energy they weren't treating you right and spirit's going to step in and break this up um <clears throat> and so when they hit you with let's be friends i feel like you have a spirit guide there could be two of them a male and a female who was like hell no 
we're not going to allow you to be friends with this person because if they treated you like that in a relationship, what the hell makes you think they're going to be a good friend for you? Because I can understand if you get in a relationship with somebody and it just really, you know, you kind of both realize, hey, let's just be friends. But there, and then you kind of just, you know, mend things and just decide to be friends. But there's something more sinister about this individual, the way that they lied to you or gaslit you or led you to believe certain things that weren't true. Um, I feel like spirit is really advising against that. Okay. Um, so if you're dealing with this type of situation, um, I would definitely get away from it. Let me pull another one of these. I think I'm going to go ahead and extend this. Um, in the extended, I'll go over like what this person's plans are, like what actions they're about to take towards you, uh, what their true intentions and feelings are, and try to see if I can pull more of like a third party energy out of this individual. Um, and then I'm going to ask what's coming for new love. So that way we can cover new love in there. Um, but I'll pull one of these cards and then in the extended, we'll talk about this card too. Dream Traveler. So some of you guys could be seeing this person like, um, in your dreams or something. Look, Spirit of Air came out too. So in the extended, I'll read these two cards and see what they're about. But I do feel like there's an ancestor or a spirit here who's really tired of this shit and stepping in. Because that Knight of Swords is like, something is, something beyond you is very angry. And it's just like, no, this, this can't keep happening to my Sagittarius. Um, I feel like you guys are very pure and this person's trying to trick you. They're, they're not being honest with you. Um, so I'll read what these are and go over this. We'll touch on new love. And then I'm going to ask what this person, uh, true intentions are, actions they're about to take. And try to see if I can pull, like, if I, see if there is another third party um, and more of this person's actions, okay? So let me roll some dice, and then I'll see you guys in the extended. Um, it's in the description how to get it. It's only $8. Taurus, Aries. These can be signs that this person is, by the way. Taurus, Aries, Leo, Gemini, Gemini, Aries, Taurus. Cancer, Gemini, Pisces, Aquarius, uh, Cancer, Aries, Taurus, and then here's an angel number. A lot of you guys need to sage your home and get like a bracelet for evil eye protection from this individual. Um, six, two, three. Numerology, there's no 12, so I break it down to a three. So six, two, three, angel number, one, one, seven angel number and then this could also be a birth date like december 7th something like that okay so i'll see you guys in the extended love you guys